Vanderella here with another fun fact you might not know about me. I really like dinosaurs! So today I want to read you a story about a young boy who is going to try to catch a dinosaur for the school science fair. So this is How to Catch a Dinosaur, written by Adam Wallace and illustrated by Andy Elkerton. Tomorrow's the big science fair. I've never won before. But this year I know I cannot lose because I'm catching a dinosaur. The crocs and sharks we know today were here when the dinosaurs ruled. It makes no sense all dinos are gone. On this point, I cannot be fooled. We head straight to our local park to pick up some kind of trail. Wait, what's that thing over there? Yes, I think it's a dinosaur tail. The dino is more bird than reptile. We learn in science class that's true. And this one left something behind. We've got our first dinosaur clue. Can you see what's in the cage? Got some bird seed in there. Looks like we've got a plant eater. The Venus flytrap had no chance. She danced right by our volcano and knew the exit at first glance. This clever girl runs fast as the wind and dodged our trap in a hurry. But we've got more in store for her, so this is no time to worry. Was she watching when I tested each trap with my action figures and toy bricks? It's like she knows how each trap works. Can it be she's onto my tricks? Well, that didn't go according to plan. She slipped right past our noses. And if that isn't bad enough, she ruined mom's prize winning roses. We made a prehistoric playground, and with lots of friends to play, our dino won't be able to resist. This time, she won't get away. Tall enough to stop a giant, our trap had pulleys, ropes, and decks. But this dino smashed it all to pieces. She should be called T-Rex. My mom is an engineer, so I've learned a trick or three. Our Robo Hugger 9000 won't let our dino go free. That clever dino tricked our robot by dressing like a bird. If I don't catch the dinosaur soon, I'll be lucky to come in third. We didn't catch the dinosaur. I don't know what to do. But my friends remind me we still have a science fair entry or two. We did it! Better luck next time. Now, I know dinosaurs have been extinct for a really long time, but I have something in my house that's kind of like a dinosaur, so I thought maybe I'd try out a few of these traps myself and see if they actually work. Okay, I've got my dinosaur hunting gear on, but today we're going to be hunting bearded dragons. So in the story, they tried to catch a dinosaur using slime. I don't have the ingredients for slime, but I did make some Play-Doh today. So let's see if we can catch a bearded dragon using Play-Doh. Hey, that one kind of worked! They also tried using bird seeds, since dinosaurs are closer in relation to birds than lizards. Now I don't have any bird seed, so I'm going to have to substitute that with some oatmeal. Oh, 
Oatmeal is not a substitution for birdseed. Another trick that they tried in the book was to make some dinosaur friends for the dinosaur to come and play with. So let's try that one next. I guess she didn't want to play with anyone today. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure to catch the elusive Chocosaurus Rex. If you were going to build a trap to catch a dinosaur, what would you use? How would you build it? Try it out at home. Maybe you'll get lucky and catch something. See you next time.